Hey guys, here's another uh, update on the Camaro. I've got the uh, rally wheels off the Z28 uh, on it, mounted with some uh, new BF Goodrich TA radials. I was going to put the uh, torque thrust originals on the car, but the fronts will not clear my original uh, or my factory four piston disc brakes, and the spoke wants to hit the uh, the brake or the caliper rather, and I don't want to stick uh, spacers on there because it'll I'm worried the tires will rub. And, but the rallies have always, for the most part, ran rallies on the car, and I like the way they look. So I'll leave the torque thrust on the Z. But uh, here it is. I got it moved over here a little while ago, and got the uh, new gas tank under it finally, and all that taken care of. It all looks pretty good. Shot of the interior. I have uh, got the radiator in it. I put a new uh, four-core radiator in it. I put a brand new, well, it's a reproduction shroud, and I, to be honest, I'm not really impressed with the quality of it. But it's better than my old busted-up original GM. Um, got that done, you know, alternator brackets, hoses, everything. Uh, right now, basically, all I need to do in order to uh, be able to fire the car up is I need to mount the uh, MSD box. And I don't want to. I had it right there on the firewall, and I don't want to put it back on the firewall. I want to hide it somewhere on the car. So I'm trying to decide where I want to put it because I want it to look uh, stock under the hood. I don't want it, you know the MSD and all that garbage. And so what I'm thinking about doing is trying to make some kind of a bracket. I'm gonna pull the battery back out, and I'm thinking if I can mount it in here, back here behind the battery where it's hidden, uh, that might be my best bet. I thought about trying to mount it, you know, inside the car or under the dash. But I don't want to have to uh, have a bunch of wires running in and out of the uh, the firewall. And so I'm thinking if I can stash it back there, I can run the wires to the coil behind the fender and come out over there uh, maybe and just tie in with that, that heater wire and then up into the harness. And so tentatively, that's where I'm thinking I want to put... Uh, put that. I'll probably uh, mess with it a little bit tomorrow and see but uh, you know I think for the most part everything looks good I did buy a battery topper for this uh, battery I just put the cable on it real quick just to see if the uh, uh, you know everything with the gas gauge was going to work and of course it is uh, so but whenever the, this is finished up I'll put the battery topper on it and uh, get it looking good I'm missing one of the clamps for the fuel line I still got to come up with and uh, gosh other than that, you know, all the wiper stuff, I'll sorry, start on that after I've, uh, you know, broke in the camshaft. And then it's uh, pretty much a done deal. Of course, I'll have to get it down to an alignment shop. But uh, I think all in all, the car turned out really nice. It sits real nice with those wheels. I think the ass end will squat just a hair once it's been driven. Uh, the front might be just a touch high still, but same with it. I think once it's been driven and the uh, suspension cycled a few times, I think it'll it'll squat down and, and look pretty good. But uh, anyhow, here it is. Um, I was just talking with my daughter about it a little while ago, and it was in March of 2006 is when I hurt the engine out the drag strip. And so, gosh, you know, March of this year, it'll be nine years since I've driven this car. And I gotta admit, I'm I'm pretty anxious to get it back out on the road and and be enjoying it again. But I guess that's it for now. I will uh, next video will probably be uh, with the car running. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching and uh, hope you all had a nice weekend. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again.